What's going on guys? So, you know, I'm not gonna make this video too long. I'm just gonna kind of try to point out what's going on with the truck and perhaps some of you guys know a fix to it. Um, I've had a problem with this truck for the past probably four days now. Uh, it was really ever since I got back from a relatively long trip down to South Texas. Next morning I woke up and all of a sudden I heard this really weird clanking noise coming from the back. When you sit inside of the truck, it almost feels as if there's a small bowling ball rolling around and it's kind of hitting the sides of the back part of the frame, not in the bed. I've emptied out the bed completely, I've removed the trailer hitch completely, and I'm still getting the sound. Let me show you what's going on. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're here at the back of the truck and check this out. There is about a quarter inch space between the leaf springs. Now, this is what folks tell me is causing the sound according to the research I've done. Spare tire is not loose, I already checked that out. A lot of folks said to see if the spare tire was loose. Spare tire is not loose. I think it's coming from the springs. And if you look from the top, you can kind of see that the bottom leaf spring, or I guess it would be the middle leaf spring, that's your bottom overload, middle top spring. The middle leaf spring is shifted over this way, just a hair. And I don't know if that's what's causing the noise, but it is certainly weird. And you can see here at the end that the space gets smaller. There's still a space back there. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it widens out in this area right here, and then it gets a little narrower over here. I don't know if that's a defect, not exactly sure what's going on there, but it is certainly, uh, if this is what's, you know, causing the noise, that's certainly what it is. So yeah, so what do you guys think that noise could be coming from? Again, it kind of seems like it's the leaf spring. That's what a lot of folks are saying it is. It's the space between the leaf springs and they're kind of cross binding. Uh, I don't know if that's the case or not. I haven't taken it to a dealership to fix it. If you've been able to fix it, let me know. Do you put some type of a, a grease or a lubricant between the leaf springs? What did you do to solve the problem if you're dealing with it? Or did it go away eventually? Um, I'd love to know. I know that some folks said if you take it to a dealership, I don't, again, assuming this is the same problem other people are talking about. Uh, they said the dealership will install shims. Even some folks said that the rear leaf pack has been replaced under warranty for them. I don't know, but you know, leaf springs have been around for a long, 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 long time. And I don't know why this problem would start appearing on a brand new truck, especially a 2023 truck. Because from what I was able to Google and research on forums, people have been complaining about some type of a noise. And I, again, I don't know if it's the same noise, but some type of a noise coming from the suspension all the way back to like 2019, 2018. So anyways, leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I, if there's a simple, easy, quick fix, I'll probably try it. I might squirt some Bow Shield lubricant back there. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that it's kind of this Boeing aerospace grade lubricant slash rust preventer that you can spray on components. Um, and since that's not the NOx coated component, that's going to be your E coated components or at least powder coated leaf springs. It shouldn't have any negative effect on them. But I may squirt a little bit of that back there just to see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to take my Bow Shield T9 developed by the Boeing Corporation. And I'm gonna just kind of spray this area of it. See if I can get down in there. I don't know if this is what people say needs to be done. 
but I put a good amount there. I don't know if I need any more than that. We'll see what happens, and I'll put some on the other side and all the way around, maybe right here too. And there's also a space in the leaf spring over in this section also. It's kind of crazy. Not a lot of room. Look at that. Don't even have enough room to squeeze a little bottle through here, which is fine. It's good for tolerances, but it sure makes it difficult to spray anything in here. And I don't know if I'm even spraying it in the right spot, to be honest with you. And the hitch is out, so it couldn't be that rattling around. I took that out before testing, and I actually emptied the bed of the truck out too. So we'll see. Anyways, guys, I would love if you left a comment below. Give me your thoughts on what's going on. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.